red light 87 here. Ah, uh, joking. Uh, that was a pretty good impression though, right? Uh, how about, um, hello. It's the way Dirk. Nah. Uh, life update vlog. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good enough mood to do a vlog right now. Just got done with uh, Cars and Coffee in Jacksonville with uh, Redline 87 and boy Dirk and uh, too many names to mention. We had a good time at Cars and Coffee and um, man there's so much so much I'd like to talk about just for my my own sake. I don't you know if, if you get anything out out of it by watching this vlog then great but if not I apologize for wasting your time even though most most uh, most things are a waste of time a waste of time in life I guess. All right, so um, I just picked up these new gloves, Sedici. I don't even know the model, but they fit almost, they fit perfect. And they're for the racetrack because I'm starting to do track days on the uh, Triumph Street Triple R 2014 model. And uh, I'm stoked. It always feels good to pick up something brand new, doesn't it? Especially when it's good and it fits and it, and it, you like it, you know? So I'm all good. I'm set up for the track uh, after spending way too much money. Um, still still doing okay. You know, I freaking work my ass off seven days a week uh, just so I can have this stuff. And it's hard to make time for uh, for a lot of fun, but uh, you, you do make time for it. You know, if it's important for it to you, I mean, you'll lose sleep for it and that's what I do. Um, but yeah, these Sedici race clubs, I don't know the model, but they fit freaking perfect. They're awesome. They are, uh, Tax had 100 bucks, but I think he gave me a discount. They were like 85, but uh, I think they're going to work out really well. They're race-specific gloves with all the protection. I was racking my brain over what what gloves to get. Um, switch lanes, shall we? And I, I guess I could pretty much stop taking it easy on my brand new rear tire right now. I got I I just hit right at 100 miles on the tire. Um, and uh, trying to get that broken in before my next track day, potential track day on Monday. Um, so yeah, I got 6,000 miles out of the original uh, Diablo Rosso uh, Corsa that came with the bike. Got a little over 6,000 miles out of it. I think it's a great tire, but I've been hearing a lot about these uh, Dunlop Q3s for the track. They're really good. I guess for the road that a uh, very experienced uh, couple of riders at the track we were talking to last Monday said that the Q3s only take about a lap to warm up without tire warmers but the Pirellis that I have take like three laps to warm up they might last longer I don't know but I think my next because uh, next time uh, next time around when I need a new rear tire I'll probably need a new front tire too this is the original front tire still good but uh so I think next time I'm going to get both both front and rear uh, Q3s and try those. I'm hearing so many good things about them. So yeah, I got I got a track suit, a Dainese, um, Laguna Seca, whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, it's the Comfortado, which is the tall size because I'm 6'4 and it it just barely is tall enough. Uh, but I think it I think it fits. I think it'll stretch a little and fit even better. So I'm stoked about that. I got a close out price deal on that off eBay um, if you go to my Instagram you'll see a photo of me doing a kind of a funny photo of me showing off my new tracksuit on a, I think my Instagram is GoPro chicken 904 yeah yeah it's GoPro chicken 904 uh, if you want to see that photo on Instagram and uh, I've got a lot of a lot of footage to go through I got a few videos I can make out of it um, what else I got boots I had to send back my uh, this is going to be mostly a, a gear gear talk uh, log, I guess. Um, I got I had Alpine Star MX5 uh, boots, and it had it had a defect on one of the left boot. It, it had something called a collapsing toe box. That was kind of like the seam was like sticking into my toe. So I sent them into Alpine Star, and they they uh, credited me on Revzilla the cost of the the boot. So oh, I. I I wanted to, uh, I, I talked to a gear geek at Revzilla a while back and he recommended, he raced a lot and he uh, recommended the Dainese um, uh, TR Course. So I kind of regretted not getting those the first time around. I think they offer a little more protection. 
Um, so that's what I ordered with the credit I received from the Alpine Stars. So that those haven't arrived yet. They're shipping from Italy or some shit. The world we live in today, right? Yeah. Wow. It's mind-boggling, you know, that even if you don't make that much money like me, you can still have and do more than most everyone a hundred years ago, you know, even like wealthy people. So got the boots. Oh, I ordered a, a race helmet because um, this this bell that I'm wearing, the qualifier, um, it's a large size and it's it's like a half size up from where I should be. Really, it's it, when I when I go fast, the the front of the helmet kind of mashes into my face, which isn't good. But it's tight enough. For, it's comfortable on the street, but it's not a good track helmet. So I, I got another deal. Close out on a Bell uh, Star Carbon Matte Carbon. Uh, helmet I got it like half price off eBay brand new. Well, it's a 2013 model but It's only two years old, but it's it's brand new with the tags new with the tags So that's in the mail and I, I should be set for the track, but you know, it's It never ends does it it really never there's no end to it because there's so much other stuff I could use Not to mention like a truck and a trailer to pull the bike there. I'm gonna have to if I don't go with anybody else, I'll have to. I'll, I'll just have to ride ride there, which is what I'm planning on doing on Monday. Um, this probably won't upload until Monday. Anyway, well, in a couple days, I'll say. So it's a beautiful day here in sunny Florida, about 75 degrees on a Saturday. What else? Uh, yeah, so I'm all kinds of stoked. Uh, I had a good time at Cars and Coffee with the guys. Just got some new gloves. Um, yeah, I could really, I'd like to eventually get some tire warmers and a front stand for the bike at the track. And, uh, oh, I need to, I, I was, suggest, I, uh, was advised to, uh, it's a nice Corvette. I was advised to get a, uh, back protector for the, uh, track also to wear under, under the suit by a couple of very experienced bikers. And that's like 150, 200 bucks. So... That'll, that'll be one of the next things on my list. So I'm trying um, I'm trying to make it Monday. I got invited to a private track session at Jennings GP in Jennings, Florida with some guys I've never met before. And uh, so I don't know if I'll make it to that, but I'm gonna try. And if not, then uh, next next month, I should be attending Jennings GP with uh, uh, Rick Viper Moto. Rick Viper Moto, on, uh, he's on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna do Jennings and then with Redline 87, we're planning on going to do another track school at a different track, Roebling, Roebling Roads. Roebling Roads in um, Georgia, I think it's near Savannah. Um, it's a bit, little bit faster track and uh, they, they do a more comprehensive school there, I hear. Like uh, they have a novice, intermediate and advanced uh, school. So we're gonna look into doing that, and they don't rent gear there. That's part. That's the reason why I bought all this uh, nice new racetrack gear, because they don't rent gear at that track. So to do the school, I had to have the gear, and I I really want to start doing track days regularly anyway. And uh, seems like this the the stuff like the suit kind of holds its value a little bit, you know. Like I could always sell it on eBay if things don't work out, I get some of my money back. So yeah, there's that, and um, just doing what I've been doing, you know, working uh, the best I can, uh, always looking for ways to uh, increase value and um, increase my income and have a better work schedule so that I, maybe someday I can have my weekends free and get to hang out with my friends more. Um, so yeah, <sighs> feels good, feels good.